All right, I'm Naridan Sari, and in this video, we're gonna talk about getting JSON and map data from our Node.js server. So without any further ado, let's begin. As I explained it in last video, we create two projects. One of them we call it client and one of them we call it host. And in client, we send X and Y location. And at the end, we send the ID of our client to our server. And now with the host, we want to get those data. And with those data, we want to sync the location of this player on this host player game. Okay. So let's just do that. First thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go to our server and in here, just clean up some things. Okay. I don't want this. So let's just get rid of that. We don't want a console like anything because we know everything is working with, for this in here. Okay. Note that this server is getting the X and Y and ID of our player. Let's just create another server to send back those data to host player okay so for that i, I just want to copy this paste it in here create another server in here i want to call it server 2 for example okay and in here i want to bind it to port 8081 to whoever that is sending data to this port get the locations of others players for example the client player that i showed you in here okay so on this port we send back this data that we get it so let's just copy and paste this paste it in here we want to listen on server 2 that is binding to this port and in here whatever message we get doesn't matter which one we say server that sent and in here the data that we we want to send is the data that we get from client okay and in here first of all we should say json because we want to encode it right like we did it in client side first we encode it right we change change it back to a json or a string we change the map data to a json and we put it in in this variable in here we should do it as well so in here the way that we should do it is stringify so it will create a string from this map that is in here this data is like a map in game maker okay so let's just give it this data it will stringify it uh, convert it to a string so we can send it next we should give it the port okay so we say our info.port and our info.others we did talk about it a lot in the node.js video that i did create first server and that's all we need to do in this server okay so let's just go back to our host project in here so in this host project in here first of all we should create our socket so we create it here next we should connect it to our local host in this case because we are not using a vps no uh, in videos after this video i will show you how you can set up it set up this server in a vps and with that create a service so it always run okay so the port that we want to use to get that data is 8081 and we create this buffer and in a step event we send something no matter what we send for example g for get okay no matter what we do send to this server it's just sent back the data doesn't matter what you sending okay the next is to send this network send udp raw to the local I, a port that we want to use is 8081 and you remember from last video we should change this to buffer tell okay and i did explain it why i'm doing this now with this we send this data to our server on port 8081 no in async async event we should get the x and y that we're getting from client okay so for that first of all because we're getting a json we should decode it so how we can decode it we say json decode okay we stringify it in server and now we decode it to map again and it give us a map the response is this so let's just put it in here and put it in variable in here as well i want to call it res json okay or whatever you want to name it know that we have this map this is a map why because this json decode give us map okay so no i want to set the x and y of this player in host project okay so we say x equal ds map find value and we find we want to find a value in this json in here in this map in here so let's just put this in here and the key that we want to find is x and now let's just do it for y as well change this to y change this to y as well know that everything is set up in our host project in here be sure to run your server so let's just run it again you know that the server is running now and let's just run our client that is sending the x and y value of its location and now let's just run our host to see if it's at sync or not and this is our client and okay and you can see whenever i change the location of this player it will sync in our client as well and you can see it it works perfectly and in here you can see it gets 
get the X, it get ID, it get a Y, and everything is okay. Everything is working fine. In the next video, I will talk about how you can host the game so everybody can join your game, okay? And it will be easy. You know that I'm taking my time to explain to you a step by a step in details everything about this Node.js site and Game Maker site so you will understand it perfectly. I could do it in just one video, but I'm sure that you will get confused in just one video. So that's why I create several videos to explain everything in detail. Sending a simple data to a packet sender, receiving a simple data from a packet sender, sending a simple data to a Node.js server and receiving a data from Node.js server. And after that, we did, we did talk about how you can send map in game maker to a node.js server and in this video we did talk about how you can get map from a node.js server to game maker and how we can get those values in here easily you can see how easy it can get and i did explain it step by step and in the future videos i will follow this method of teaching to explain to you everything step by step so you will understand it fine if you think that it's not working for you for you please leave it in comments so i know i should get better to explain everything and if you have any question please ask and please for supporting me hit that like button and if you leave a comment it helps me a lot thank you very much for watching bye